All right, friends, Q4 is here. And if you are a product-based business, you know how much potential there is to see a spike in sales during this time of year, mainly because of how many shoppers are online shopping for the holidays. So I'm here to remind you that the products that are gonna be making the most sales during this time are the ones that are trending either in category or style. I want those cha-chings ringing off the hook for you, friends. So that's why I'm bringing you in today's video, 15 of the top holiday trends for 2022. I don't want you having to spend hours upon hours researching to try to find what's trending. So that's why I've compiled this list so it can give you a shortcut and you can start creating products with these trends to make sure that your Q4 and your holiday season is crazy successful. Coming up. Welcome back to the channel, friends. If it's your first time here and this is our first time meeting, I'm Kate. I'm a wife, mama, Etsy seller, and business coach, and I'm here to help you start and scale your online business to make a full-time income doing what you love. If you're excited about today's video, give a little love tap on that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel. We release new content every week for online entrepreneurs. Like I said, today's video is all about 2022 holiday trends, and I'm bringing you 15 of the top trends that I found in my research that I think you could either Either think of for new product ideas or incorporate into your current products, but you could also think about using these trends to stage your holiday photos and also hopefully inspire some SEO keyword phrases that would be seasonally relevant for your tags, titles, and description. And make sure you watch the video all the way to the end because I'm giving two extra bonus tips at the end that are going to really level up your listings and help you make sales this holiday season. These trends are mostly coming straight from Etsy's Marketplace Insights report, so you can know that this data can be trusted because this comes from research that the Etsy team themselves have done. Now, before we dive in, if you are an Etsy seller, you need to check out my free 60 minute Etsy success training. It's a masterclass that you can take completely for free where I teach on my more advanced strategy for starting and growing your Etsy shop and scaling to the point of being able to make a full-time income with your Etsy business. So again, that's a completely free Etsy class that you can take just by clicking on the link below or going to etsymasterclass.com. In the training, I cover all of my in-depth strategies from product and trend research to SEO to photography for products to marketing your Etsy shop. It's just jam-packed full of actionable strategy for growing your Etsy shop today. So definitely click on the link below after you watch this video to check out that free training. So before we hop into the trends themselves, it's important to identify that there are kind of like two phases that come throughout each holiday season when shoppers go on Etsy. The first phase is where shoppers come online to search for home home decor pieces. The holiday decor shopping starts in September and really picks up a lot in early November. And then after Thanksgiving in late November, it sort of shifts from a focus on decor to a focus on gift shopping. After Thanksgiving, shoppers are mainly on the platform looking for gifts. So I think it's amazing if you can offer both pieces that appeal to the decor shoppers and the gifting shoppers, but just keep that in mind as we're talking about these trends. These can apply to both phases of the holiday season. Okay, so the first few trends we're gonna talk about have to do with decor, and you can also keep this in mind if you are creating digital download products. So we're gonna talk a lot about styles and themes. So even if you don't offer a physical product, think about how you can incorporate these into your digital designs as well. All right, trend number one is festive entertaining. For this trend, we're thinking about appealing to buyers who are going to be hosting and entertaining guests in their home for the holiday season. We're talking things like serving utensils, cookware, table setting pieces, really anything that is festive for the holidays that would help a host entertain at their home. All right, let's talk about color palettes. So this year, trending is a modernized version of the traditional holiday color palette. Normally, we see a lot of just traditional red and green, but I would encourage you as a seller to think about how you can incorporate some modern trending colors, such as bright cheerful tones and deep jewel tones. You can put a spin on the traditional holiday colors with colors like magenta and emerald green. We know that emerald green has been Etsy's color pick of the year for 2022, so you definitely can't go wrong with incorporating that into any product you have. Trend number three here is retro kitchen. Etsy says that they're seeing a rise in the popularity in vintage kitchen items. Things like retro dinner plates and fun cookie jars and vintage coffee makers. Now, even if you don't 
sell actual vintage items, think about how you could maybe incorporate these items into your photo staging. So if you're using props to stage photos for the holiday season, you could incorporate some retro and vintage items for a really cool spin on your photo merchandising. Next, let's talk about the trend of nature themes. People have been loving bringing nature into the home by incorporating it into their home decor. So think dried flowers, botanical pieces, woodland themes, branches, animals, specifically holiday type animals like bears and moose and deer. Anything that can incorporate nature into your product is definitely going to be a winner. There's been a 56% year on year increase in searches on Etsy containing the term branch chandelier. Again, even if you don't sell a branch chandelier, think about how you could incorporate that type of aesthetic into your digital designs or into your photo staging. And going along with this is our next trend, refined rustic tablescapes. We're continuing our rustic theme with this one and thinking about anything with natural earthy tones like branches, fruit, greenery, and even wheat. People are also loving the trend of versatile decor. So we're thinking about home decor pieces that are not only beautiful for the holiday season, but can also extend past the holiday to be used for multiple seasons. This applies both to the type of item as well as the style. So for type of items that can be used beyond the holiday season, you could be thinking about things like candle holders, vases, accent pillows. And then as far as theme or style that can go beyond the holiday season, we're seeing a rise in things like mushrooms and stars, greenery, and dried foliage and flowers. Warm, earthy shades can always be really great for the holiday season as well as beyond. One extra tip here is to think about your photos and how you can show your items in your photos staged for both the holiday season and beyond that in everyday use. Okay, our next one is a staple and it's never going to go out of style, it's using any kind of graphics or images that are festive that people would relate with the holiday season. To spark your thinking, I'm talking about things like snowflakes, reindeer, snowmen, holly, poinsettias, wintry animals like foxes, pine cones, mistletoe, retro Santas, snowy mountains, and winter wonderland scenes. You really can't go wrong with incorporating these types of festive graphics into your designs during the holiday season. Next, let's talk winter weddings. There are a lot of different items, both physical and digital, that people that are planning weddings will be looking for, specifically for a holiday-themed winter wedding. So when you're thinking about color schemes, think about how you can have a unique twist on the classic holiday colors like we've talked about before, incorporating those rich jewel tones to give it more of a glitzy and glam feel, and thinking about the colors we mentioned before like that emerald green. Etsy says there's been a 114% increase year on year, so this year compared to last year for the term emerald green bouquet. The next trend is one that has been around for a few years and is still going strong, and this is to offer DIY kits. People have loved doing things with their loved ones at home and finding unique ways of bonding. So getting a DIY or a do-it-yourself kit for either decor or creating a gifting item is super popular and a really fun activity for people to do with their family and friends. If you can think of a kit that you could put together and sell, this is sure to be a winner on Etsy. You could think of anything from a kit to make your own ornaments, to woodworking, to candle making. The options are really limitless here. All right, let's move on to talking about some gifting type trends. When you're thinking about offering items that could be used as gifts, anything small and sentimental definitely has huge potential on Etsy. And also think about not just people that are shopping to give gifts to others, but a lot of people will be shopping to gift themselves. So think about items that could be a good gift for others or for someone that's gifting themselves. So first here, let's talk about small home decor items. Small home decor items are always super popular on Etsy for gifting. So I'm talking about wall art, candles, ornaments, engraved cutting boards, ceramic mugs, and more. Along with this, think about how you can put that modern twist on what you're offering. There's been a crazy spike, 336% to be exact, year on year, in searches on Etsy containing the term modern candle. Another thing that people are loving for gifts are wellness or care kits. This is like a bundle or a gift set that contains anything that would help a person with self-care or with relaxation. Of course, you've got your traditional spa basket items, things like bar soap and sugar scrubs and bath bombs. But think about how you could also add in some items that would be a little more unique that would still go along with the care theme, such as a gratitude journal, something that would help the recipient with quiet reflection. Now, we all know that the end of the year and the beginning of a new year brings a renewed energy to a lot of people thinking about goals for 
for the next year and also wanting to wrap up this current year in a really great way on a positive note. So I'm talking about any products that can help the recipient energize, organize, and plan. Things like calendars, goal worksheets, planners, and art with inspirational or motivational text. Okay, now our next one is again, something that is tried and true on Etsy and I don't think will ever go away. And this is personalized or customized items. With Etsy specifically, shoppers are coming on to find really unique and really custom gifts for their recipients. So I encourage you with whatever product you're offering to think about, is there a way that you could offer customization to your buyer, an option for personalization with things like their name, initial, a quote they love, a special date, monogram, their preferred text style, or even special coordinates. You can personalize so many different things. Some ideas for this would be like art prints, wall art, or kitchen items like cutting boards and coasters. All right, now let's talk about some style trends. We touched on this a little bit before, but in terms of colors, we're thinking bold colors this year. Etsy says colors that are popular include those warm jewel tones like magenta and emerald green, and thinking about pairing them with some unique shades like berry or navy blue. Going along with this, there's been a trend of glitz and glam in the style world, And so this is true for the holiday season of 2022. Thinking about things like sequins and shimmery fabrics. There's been a 193% year on year increase in Etsy searches containing the term black satin dress. And our next one is a tried and true staple for families around the holiday season. And that is any kind of matching family set. People love to make holiday cards with their family photo with all of the family members coordinating or matching in some way. And a lot of times this includes matching family PJ So if you're in the style world, you might think about whether it be PJs or regular clothes, how you can create coordinating and matching sets for multiple family members. And definitely don't forget the pets here because there are so many pet lovers shopping on Etsy as well. And that could be a cute addition into your family set. Okay, so those are the 15 holiday trends that I think will really help you make sales this holiday season. But don't leave yet because I have two extra bonus tips for you to keep in mind when you're preparing. Bonus tip number one is to keep in mind that a lot of shoppers on the Etsy Etsy platform shop by their recipient's interest. You want to keep this in mind both for your product ideas and when thinking of your SEO on which keyword phrases you're going to be using in your listings. So let's say I'm a shopper going on Etsy to find some gifting items. I'm going to be thinking about the person I'm giving this to and what their interests are. So if I have a best friend who loves coffee, I might type in coffee lover gift. Or if I'm looking for something really sentimental for my mom, I might type in mom birthstone ring. If I have a brother who's really into video games, I'm might be searching gamer t-shirt. So think about your target customer and who they might be shopping for and who might your products be a good gift for and use that as inspiration for your SEO and your keyword phrases. Etsy says there's been a 43% year on year increase for the search term soccer dad gift. So think about how this could apply to your products and to your SEO. And bonus tip number two is to consider different price points. There are actually specific price point filters that shoppers can use on Etsy. And the best ones to think about are under $30, under $50, and under $100, and then anything over $100. So you wanna make sure that your products are being found in the certain price range that your shopper might be looking for. So for instance, if you have a sign that you've priced at 51 or $52, it might be worth taking a few dollars off to get it down to like $48 so that it will still show up if your shopper filters their search under $50. So I encourage you to just go back through your pricing one more time for all of your listings and make sure that those listings will be found if your shopper uses those price filters. Now remember, if you're interested in growing your Etsy shop to bring in some real revenue and earn a full-time income, then don't forget to go to etsymasterclass.com or just click in the link below to sign up for my free masterclass that goes through my five pillar formula for scaling a successful Etsy shop. Now I get asked questions about Etsy growth and Etsy strategy all the time. And I actually made a video with the top questions that I get asked about Etsy. So if you're interested to know my answers to the most commonly asked Etsy questions, then just click or tap on the square on the screen right now. And that'll take you over to watch that video. See you next time, friends.